plans are in place by the American government to supply drones to Nigeria as part of our commitment to overcome security challenges in the country. The American ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Beth Leonard, stated this in Sukutu at a roundtable discussion with selected newsmen in the state. She said the drones would help Nigeria to end the activities of bandits, kidnappers, and Boko Haram in the country. The American ambassador said insecurity has changed the development of the country in many areas of human endeavor. America is concerned about the security situation of the country. The ambassador further explained that the U.S. has been supportive of Nigeria on information gathering and hard way to combat security through modern technologies and other relevant areas of concern. She said, however, protocols and channels that facilitate the implementations were considered by departments and expertise. The ambassador who is going around states in the country to inspect American programs in the country said USAID had from 2015 to date invested about $122 million on different activities that comprise improving primary health care, immunizations, public access to quality health care, education, agriculture, and empowerment programs. USAID future interactions aimed at strengthening the commitments include improving agriculturalist capital capacity for farmers to engage on right agricultural practices for growing and enhanced food production. She added that Safe Schools Initiative and other educational supportive were accorded with priority, stressing that the U.S. government accorded respect and concern on the plight of Nigerians. She noted that the U.S. government is assisting Nigeria in various human endeavors, stressing that our country is the largest single bilateral contributor to Nigeria. The ambassador commended the Sokoto state government for its commitment to developing the agricultural sector, especially the cutting value chain. <laughs> Honestly, this is really laughable. To me, this is really laughable. All of those things that they say they want to provide for Nigeria. It's all about power show. Oh, we are the ones who have been contributing in the old world. We are the one, the highest contributors. Good and fine. Kudos to you. But all of these things that you are contributing to Nigeria government to tackle insecurity. Nigeria government, Nigeria as a whole can afford all of these things. If you like, buy all everything in this world to as far as this present government is concerned. They are not going to use it. They have money. They can do it. They know what to do. Do you know how much they are blowing every day? Wasting it, wasting out. The the problem Nigeria has is the political will of the elite to do the right thing. If the political will is there, believe you me, all of the money that we've been spending will not even spread up to that. We hear that say, hey, the budget a humongous amount for security purposes. They squander it, they share it among themselves. So what are we talking about? So this uh, from the America is just for their own ego. They know that Nigeria will do nothing. Nigeria government will do nothing. All of this is we are providing for them. They can afford it. The ones they will see by Boko Haram and their group, they will collect it from them. They will not even go back to say, oh, how do we get this things back? So to me, everybody just playing to the gallery. They are not ready. If Nigeria government is ready to fight this Boko Haram, believe you me, we don't even need external forces or external help anyway. Bearing the magnitude, forms, peculiarities of our security challenges, there is little or no effect the U.S. can exhibit with respect to weaponry or firepower deployment. Most of our security challenges are internal, economic, governance, systematic, ethnic, nationalism, and structural induced. Help divide is or will you accept bribery? from Polani elite as you did in the reports of NSAS protests, God will judge you for not saying the truth. America answers to save and Nigeria to save lives. The only way to curb the menace of insecurity in Nigeria is disintegration. The insecurity in Nigeria is as a result of high rates of corruption, inequality, marginalization of egos, high rates of human rights abuses, protection of cows and database for cows instead of citizens, economic failure. Imagine that a country like Nigeria cannot even produce a toothpick during the Biafran War. 
during the Biafran War, Igbos produced their own weapons they used against their enemies. But now Nigeria keeps importing goods, goods and ammunition from other communities and countries, therefore boosting their economy, messing our hours up. Open grazing are causing a lot of damage in the farmlands, therefore causing food insecurity. They keep deceiving protection. They keep giving protection for cows and allow human killings all over Nigeria. People die every day. Kidnapping banditry Boko Haram is now a full business in Nigeria, a country where no one is saved. Just like I said, the political way is not there. You can come and, you know, uh, praise your ego and say you have done this, you have done that. Whether all of those things are really beneficial or are, re- are yielding results, positive one at that, it is no. If America really care, they should coerce Buhari and his uh, Pantomi people to organize referendum for Nigerians. That will completely end the insecurity Nigeria is facing. We don't need your help, and if you try them, and embassy we your embassy will have to pay if any of the citizens die because there is nothing you people can do than genocide. Sorry for the name Nigeria, the only country that has still been colonized in twenty first century. No dignity, Nigeria is a shape. If only you guys can openly summon courage to tell Nigerians those politicians sponsoring Boko Haram members. They should also help us perpetrate all the children of our elected leaders, both past and present resi- uh, residents in the U.S. to come and stay with us in the country that their parents have developed. She's just saying for herself she didn't represent the U.S.A. government in this one, okay? God is not a man that he should lie. Nigeria greatness will shock the world shortly. Mm-hmm. Just a post one that allergy chairman in Asurok to stop playing policies with security. He knows those behind all these atrocities. So let's him take let him arrest and prosecute them first. The American government by ex president Obama's destruction of Libya contributed to the escalation of Nigeria's security problems. The absence of a functional government in Libya have allowed terrorists and weapons to move freely and unhindered from the level from the Levant into the African Sahel region, by which they have overwhelmed countries like Mali, Chad, Northern Nigeria, with terrorism in an unprecedented fashion. Division is the only solution. Divide Nigeria and save lives.